Okay, so I want to talk about something else. Alright, this is something that cropped up again yesterday for me. <laughs> let me give you a little backstory. So, let me show you the picture. Alright, this is the picture, okay? This is called a, a geodesic hemispherical dome. It's a, it's a isa, uh, uh, icosahedron. <clears throat> uh, now this, I think it's also the tree of life. I'm not sure exactly. Um, but this picture, okay. Now, <clears throat> I had a dream about this. This ball in particular. This structure in particular. About 11 years ago, 12 years ago. When I went through this huge spiritual adventure. When, like, entities were really coming to me like hardcore. <clears throat> and I had a lot of really crazy dreams around the age of 19 or 20. And I'm 31 right now. And one of the biggest dreams I had was a trilogy. It was like I had a dream one night and then the second night and then the third night. I can't remember the second night's dream. No, I can. I think. I don't know. I'll just tell you about it. Well, I'll just tell you about this dream in particular. Well, you know what? All right, well, the first dream that I had had to do with, like, I saw a blue person. Now, in history, <laughs> now, I didn't know anything about blue people back then. Um, but getting older, <laughs> or whatever, moving through my timeline, um, I realized that there really were blue people. <clears throat> and in my dream, there was this dude, and I was in a mall, and there was this dude, and he was coming up the, es the escalator, and he was all blue. His skin was completely blue. And he had, like, a mohawk. Like, the rest of his head was shaved, and he had this very dark-haired mohawk. And uh, he had, like, a loincloth on. I mean, he looked like, uh, I don't really know what to call the situation. But he, his skin was extremely blue, and his eyes were, like, very wide. Like, when we looked at each other, because I was on the second floor, he was coming up the escalator. He was, like, running. And I remember he, like, looked and looked right at me, and I was like, whoa. And he, like, ran away. And then I went down the stairs and went into a room, and there were books everywhere. And I picked up a book, and I opened it up, and it said, You are beloved. That's all I can remember from the first dream. Anyways, the third dream. <laughs> well, you know what? I'll just talk about the second dream. Let's get that out of the way. So in my second dream, I was, like, sitting away from Earth. And I, was, I knew that Earth was there, but I was somewhere else. But I knew that Earth was there. And it was like, I was sitting next to an Endy, and I don't, I don't know, I didn't actually look, but I know that there was someone there, and I know that they were talking to me about Earth, about something to do with that. I don't remember, I don't even think there was actual words, there, there was, there must have been words, but I can, rem all I can remember is like, the whole, the whole, um, summary was like, talking to me about Earth, something about Earth, and it was really important, it was big, really important. <clears throat> and in the third dream, uh, I was like, I want to say back in Da Vinci's time, I'm not sure exactly, uh, but it was like sunny and bright outside, and uh, it was, I remember the building being white, and I remember <clears throat> being up at the very, very top, and it was like, uh, like in the Sistine Chapel, like in a lot of really old churches, they got like, this dome at the top, right, like that, okay, and it's like there was there were wind. Well, it looked like that. The structure was very similar, okay, but I was back in a different time period, and it was like there were windows. I'm not even sure if there was actual glass. It was just like the sunlight came in through those windows at the very very top, of the dome, and inside of that dome was uh, this like pedestal type thing. And then it had this, like, I want to say floating. It was like floating above that pedestal. And this was made out of, I want to say stained glass, or like, I'm thinking of like, you know, the waviness of stained glass. Like, I think that, you know, it's hard now to remember, but that's what I'm picturing in my head. And I remember it being kind of like a yellow, like an off yellow color, but I'm not entirely sure about that. And I remember... 
I remember the sunlight came in like like a laser, okay? It was like a laser of like photons or something like that. And it came in and it struck one of these um, glass pieces, one of these triangles. And it was like, it went in. And I'm not even sure if I'm creating this in my mind or if it happened in a dream. But what I remember is that it went in and it like ricocheted off of all of those. And then I woke up. It was like the laser of the sun or whatever it was came in, ricocheted, and then I woke up. Um, <clears throat> what I thought was really interesting is I, you know, I, I remember this dream from time to time. But it cropped up again New Year's Eve, all right? I was in, you know, I'm in my house, and we're watching, we're watching it on TV. And I'm watching this ball drop. Now, I don't know if I just was never really paying attention to the ball that's dropped in New York, but the ball that dropped this time was this exact structure, okay? And I saw that, and I was like, what? And I'm, like, telling, like, my, I'm telling, like, my roommate and everything. And I'm like, dude, I had a dream about this. This this was in my dream. Like, I'm all jazzed up, and I'm looking. I'm like, oh, this, this, there's a correlation here, and I'm all excited, and you know, I was like, whoa, 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 this is like, you know, I liked it. Whenever I see a pattern or something repeating or something like a flash of memory, I'm like, whoa, 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 there's something important here that I need to listen to. So I was like, okay. So I put that in the back of my mind. I'm like, all right. And I kind of forgot about it for a little while. And, you know, it's like, what, January 9th? So it was only nine days ago. And then yesterday, I went to uh, like a, I don't know, like a stop and shop or something with my brother's mom. And, uh, She's getting grapefruit. She got four grapefruits. And she's talking to this lady, and I'm looking at this picture that's, you know, up on the register or whatever. And what do I see? I see this. I see this again. And I'm like, okay, now these pictures aren't so far apart. Something, someone's trying to remind me of something, right? So I'm looking at this, and I'm really looking at it, and then boom, something pops up in my, uh, it, it flashes a memory. So check this out, all right? I don't know if this has already been discovered or whatever. I mean, maybe, but I'm just going to share with you what I realized by looking at this picture. Now, <coughs> there's this, you know, I'm going to have to drop this out. Uh, pen, 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 pen. I'll just use this marker. And this bag. Okay, so I'm going to show you this constellation. All right, <clears throat> there's this constellation in the sky, right? It looks kind of like this. I always think of a scorpion or, like, you know, the V, like Venus, Taurus. I don't know exactly which one it is. But whenever I see these things, I always connect lines to it, okay? <clears throat> a lot of times I see, like, the moon. I see, like, the moon, and it's like this. And I always look at this as, like, a tuning fork. So whenever I look at it, I always end up connecting lines. Like, my brain just does that. So it looks like this to me. Okay. So this is what it looks like in my brain when I look at this. I just see these lines right here. And I don't know which one it's called, but I'm sure like everyone sees this. I think this is a very common one, something like Orion's Belt. You know, it's just like a, it's a common, it's one that we, I think that a lot of people are familiar with. Now, what I thought was interesting is this is one I've been focusing on a lot. So, you know, this popped up in my mind. Now, if we look at this. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm like using a screw. Okay. So, I mean, uh, whatever this is. Okay, so so check this out. All right. You see this picture here. Now, I'm looking. I'm looking at this, and I see I see the same structure. Okay. No, hold on. It's like, ah, oh, crap. <sighs> it's so funny when it, like, hits you in the moment. Um. It is confusing. <laughs> okay, well, it's not the exact picture, but check this out. It's like you've got this, okay? And then you've got, like, the similar lines right here. Like, you know what I mean? you got, like, this line here and here. I mean, it's warped because it's on this screen here. But it's the same structure. you got that line there and there. And there, and then it's like, 
and then you can move it, and it's, like, completely, like, I don't know, I feel like whenever I look at the stars, I always see, like, something more there, like it, like a pattern, like it seems random, but I think there's, like, a beautiful pattern in there, this is, like, a total symmetry, and there's also another one that I look at, and I don't, I don't know the name of it, but I always look at it, and I think that, oh, you know what, I did actually make a video about this. Um, sorry about the crinkles, it's probably really loud. Alright, there's another one. I always call it the tabernacle. I think, like, the, the Bible talks about it. And I don't know why I make the association, but I just do. So I will just, I will just show you. This is probably not exactly <laughs> symmetrical, but I'm going to do the best I can. <clears throat> so, alright. You've got Orion's belt, right? And I talk about this uh, in another video, but I always, like, check this out. And I think what's really weird is that when I checked it out before, like a long time ago, like maybe four or five months ago, this is what it looked like then. It looked like this. Okay. <clears throat> it looked just like this. Now, that's Orion's belt, and I had these two dots over here, and that's the way, you know, because I really checked that out, and that's the way, like, when the, oh, it was, it, it always came up before the, before the sun rose in the morning, and it looked like that. Now, when I look at it now, <clears throat> this is what it looks like. I literally saw this last night. I mean, I see this, and I'm like, what happened here? How does that happen? I'm always so curious to, as to why that flipped, this here flipped. Uh, during the during the winter time, maybe that's the difference. Uh, the hemispheres or something like that. I don't know, but I noticed a change. Okay, this is what this is what I saw during the summertime. This is what I'm seeing now. Oh, that's what I'm seeing for a while now. And um, <clears throat> what I think is interesting about that is like, all right, if you connect these dots, okay, you've got this picture. Okay, it's not it's not perfectly. Symmetrical, but then you look at this right here, and you've got the same, I mean, I don't even have to really point it out, it's like, you know, you got the same thing, right, you got the same thing, boom, 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 dot, 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 I mean, you just put the dots in, whatever, the lines, you know, the lines, okay, and then, <laughs> and then, I always see this here, this is what it looks like. Because I always see one structure, and then I see another structure, okay? So this is what I see. I see that above these three lines, I mean these three dots, is always this. And then I, there might be two in between here. It, either way, I don't think it really matters at this point. It's really just the overall structure. So you've got, and then there's one here, and it's like a perfect, you know what I'm saying? It's like a perfect, it's a perfect structure. And this is what I see. Okay. So now it looks like to me like a mountain or something like or like a geode piece or you know, I'm not even really sure what it is. That's what I thought it was at the time. The things change. So now when I look at this. Alright, hold on a minute. Okay. Oh, I wish it didn't flip like that. Okay, well, oh, crap. Okay, right here. You've got, dang it. <laughs> Why are you flipping? Stop flipping. Okay, so here and then here. This is really difficult. <laughs> All right, so you got here, here, here. You've got the same, I mean, it's like I don't really have to point it out, you know what I mean? Like, it seems very obvious and stuff like that. Uh, this structure, this structure, right? This structure is like, ooh, okay. I'm like, you know, I, I don't know. There's something about this structure, this, 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 this sacred geometry picture, right? And this picture keeps showing up in my life right now. And the pictures are getting closer and closer in my current reality. So I feel like I need to share this information because I feel like that explains like the stars and like, uh, you know, 
<clears throat> if this is what if this is what keeps cropping up in my dream and it, it was my dream and now it's like reality you know what i'm saying like it went from dream to reality and i'm like whoa the pictures get closer and closer because it was just nine days ago and now and then yesterday the eighth it showed up again in a picture in, you know, it was like a dream when I was in Phoenix, Arizona. And then it was like a ball in New York City. And now it's like a stop and shop store here in, you know, Manchester, Connecticut. And I'm like, or I was in Glastonbury, you know, wherever the heck I was in Connecticut. And I'm like, all right, well, something's getting closer and closer. When I see patterns like happening over and over, I'm like, whoa, I got to listen to something like something's happening here. So then when I stare, stare, stared at the picture... I saw immediate stars, immediate constellations in it, and <clears throat> I mean, you know, it looks like a globe or whatever, but like when I look at the stars at night, <clears throat> this is what I'm seeing, this is what I'm seeing, is this structure, now why I see certain stars more than others, I mean, I don't know, I don't really have all the answers to everything, I mean, the way that it reflects off of something, I'm sure, but, you know, there's something to be said about this structure here. <clears throat> I feel like just looking at this structure right here and realizing that the stars are that structure, I feel like that explains, like, everything. And I didn't research. I made sure I, d I don't want to research whether or not this has been discovered or whether or not this is something that's already been proven because I want to get it out there to show that, um, you know, these things happen naturally. This happened totally naturally because I wasn't even aware uh, of any information other than my dream, looking at a picture, looking at my current reality, and making connections immediately without uh, any influence other than intuition, uh, you know, cellular information that's, I feel like I'm being, like, blessed or given information from eons ago, from other timelines, you know what I mean? Like, it's being, like a channeling, it's like being channeled to me through through whatever means available, and then when I get this urge, like, Teresa, talk about it, I'm like, okay, maybe there's a lifeline here with me, like, a channeling that's happening, like, you just, just talk about it, just talk about it, and get it out there, um, it's this structure, uh, I'll say the name again, well, maybe you can read it, maybe that would make it easier, well, I'll put it in the comments below, I'll just write it out in the comments below and you can play around with that and see if that's something that, you know, <clears throat> let me know if you see other structures or like other constellations or something and other connections because there is something about this structure that keeps popping up and I think it pretty much, I'm going to just tell you what my intuition tells me is that it explains the whole thing, it explains the whole thing, that structure right there. So I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> okay, so um, that's all I had to share for now. Thanks for watching.